Hey, Len Erickson here with another Purveyor of Light quick tip. Uh, today we've got uh, a user submitted question. Um, they asked how to create a photography logo or better known as a, a watermark that can be applied to the uh, photographs that you post and put online. Um, so let's just go ahead and just jump right in. It couldn't be any easier. Um, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're actually going to need to go to your web browser and we're going to open up and we're going to go to a website uh, called dafont.com. Okay, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. And this is a beautiful resource for getting custom fonts. And what I want you to do here is once you're at this page, is come over here where it says handwritten. Okay, and click on the handwritten and that will filter the available fonts uh, to handwritten only and you'll notice that we have samples of each font as we go down through the list and um, I find that if you're gonna really be trying to pick one for your for your own logo uh, go ahead and type in what your logo is actually going to say so in the preview box here I can type in uh, my name here and then submit it and now I'm looking at what it would look like with the fonts that I'm actually going to use. And I can even increase it to large so I get a better view. And now I can look at each font and see if I like anything here. And again, this is totally up to you what you're looking for, whether you're looking for a, a, a printed uh, cursive or a combination of the both or some kind of hybrid. Okay. And... Um, most of the fonts here on the site are free for personal use. Okay, if you look over to the right here, you can see each one is telling us what the license is for each font. In this case, it's free for personal use, uh, and as most of them are. Okay, so go ahead and pick a nice font that you like, and uh, then simply download that and then install it on your PC, usually by double clicking and hit install font. Um, so uh, for example, uh, let's just say that I wanted to turn around and take this font here, uh, Chicken Fajitas, and I just hit download, and it comes in, and now I have the font here, and I double-click on it, and go into the folder, and there's the, f the font, and I just double-click on the font, and the system says, oh, this is the font. Do you want to install it? Okay. So that's as easy as it is. So once you've got the fonts installed, okay, the next thing you do is now start Photoshop. Okay. So you had to have Photoshop closed before we did this because every time Photoshop loads, it reads all the fonts on your system. So you want it to find it. So now we're going to go ahead and create our logo or our watermark. So we're going to shoot for something like this. Okay, and I'm just going to start a brand new document. And I'm going to pick a size, uh, not too big, not too small. Um, I'm probably going to do a, a 720 by 480. Make sure it's good enough for print quality. 300, and there we are. So we now have a new document. And I can just open that up so we can see it a little bit better. And now using the font that I downloaded, I can simply select the type and pull down from the, the listing and then get the type that I wish. Okay. So in this case, I happen to like this wilderness uh, font. So I'm going to go ahead and click and I'm going to type my name and reposition it on the screen with the move tool and the next thing i'm going to do is uh, select another type there we go and i'm going to type the word in caps photography and don't worry about how it looks. I'm just going to change the font now to something more appropriate. I'll say Morocco. 
and of course it's way too large so I'm going to change the size of the font and I'm going to move that into position and now it doesn't look right it doesn't have that custom logo of folk it just doesn't fit it doesn't go together but we can fix this okay what I want to do is I want to increase the spacing in between each of the letters in the logo that'll make it more modern um, um, and go more with the logo design to do that I can simply go to the character reference here and open up the character tool panel and now if you don't see the character tool panel here just simply go up to window and then select uh, character and that'll open it up for you so either way we're going to go to the spacing here in between the letters and I'm going to increase the spacing between the letters until I like what I'm seeing okay and you see how much difference that makes and I may turn around and change the font a little bit here okay and again this is all aesthetics so I'm adjusting the aesthetics spacing of the uh, yeah I'm liking that more okay so I didn't uh, that's a little too close to the E so we'll take that there and so there we have our basic design and again this is up to your creativity uh, this is just a quick example on how to turn around and make a watermark logo f for yourself. Okay, so now that I have the two layers, I want to turn around and first save it. Okay, so I'll do a save as, and then I'll, I'll just give it a, a name and give it a save as a PSD in case I want to come back and make changes in the future. And then I'm going to export this as a quick PNG okay and we hit that and I'm gonna save it to the desktop and there we are so now we have a PNG so now I can go ahead and close all this up no reason to have this there and I have a picture here and I have the PNG right here okay and I want to put my watermark on this photo so it's as simple as opening up the logo using the move to and drag it and move it up and then drop it on the photo and now move it into position and there I go I have the uh, photo uh, watermarked with my logo uh, and again this logo that we made is very versatile. We can change this color. We can even, you know, let's say we don't like the, the black font and we want it to be white. Uh, can't be any simpler. Just select the layer with the font, okay, and then hit Command-I, Control-I, which will invert it. And now I have it in a white font. Or I could switch it back to black. And there you go. So that's it. So now any photo you have, you just simply can drag this uh, PNG onto the photo and position it on your thing and then go ahead and post away to the web and social media and uh, your logo and watermark uh, will help show everybody who's doing all the fine work. All right, you guys take care and I'll talk to you next week.